On this episode of China Uncensored, 20 signs China's pollution has reached apocalyptic levels. Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. You know, my mom always told me, look on the bright side. Every cloud has a silver lining. And well, in China, there are plenty of clouds. And so here's the silver lining. For those of you who believe in global warming, China is preventing it. A team at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and the California Institute of Technology has discovered that aerosols, or airborne particles, emitted from pollution in China is, and I believe this is the technical term, screwing with the polar jet stream. Basically, that means storms are getting worse. So that winter storm Juno that just wreaked havoc in the U.S., we may have China in part to thank for that. Now, some believe that by releasing more aerosols into the atmosphere, we can better block out the sun, dropping temperatures, and eliminating the need for face kinis to protect women from skin-darkening sunshine. But you know what? Forget NASA. It's not like they're rocket scientists or anything. The Western propaganda media are just trying to scare you into thinking pollution is bad. In China, pollution really isn't a big deal. According to China's Ministry of Environmental Protection, nine out of every ten cities have such a robust, developed economy that they fail the country's pollution test. But what does that actually look like? Well, here are 20 signs China's pollution has reached apocalyptic levels. According to the World Bank, 20 of the world's most polluted cities are in China. China is the world's largest polluter. A quarter of the world's CO2 comes from China. China burns almost as much coal as the rest of the world combined. During the November 2010 air apocalypse in Beijing, the pollution was literally off the charts. It exceeded the U.S. Embassy's highest pollution rating and accidentally triggered what some programmer had written in as crazy bad. It was a joke that could <laughs> never actually happen. Chinese scientists say the air pollution in some places has been so bad, its effect is like a nuclear winter that affects plants' ability to grow. This is ridiculous. A boy in a pink apron? Come on! China is home to 459 cancer villages, according to Chinese media, academics, and NGO estimates. According to the Chinese government, by 2030, China will have used up all of its water. Yep. China will run out of water in 15 years. In the 1950s, there were 50,000 significant rivers. Now, less than half of them are left. One third of all native fish species in the Yellow River are extinct, according to a 2007 announcement by Chinese officials. Half of all China's lakes and reservoirs are polluted beyond what's safe for human consumption. This is what's left of the Lijiang River, a UNESCO-approved scenic spot in Guangxi. Algae blooms like this one can lead to dead zones, patches of water where literally nothing can survive. Across China, 90% of the groundwater is contaminated, according to the Asia Water Project. In Shanghai, only 3% of water is safe for drinking, according to a 2013 Shanghai Water Census and over half the water is deemed so polluted it can't be used for anything. Not industrial use, not even in a fountain. Remember the 2010 BP Deepwater Horizon oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico? This one in Dalian was four times the size. According to the World Bank, every year a quarter of a million Chinese people die prematurely because of pollution. China tried to block the release of that report because of concerns it would cause social unrest. Party mouthpiece CCTV ran a story with five reasons why this pollution turns out to be a great thing, including its ability to unite the Chinese people. Wow! No wonder China's wealthy are trying to get out of the country. So what do you think China should do about its pollution? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. Thanks for watching China Uncensored.